Hi, viewers. Welcome to our January interview. We are joined by Todd and Shannon from the Metcalf Library Branch. <laughs> hey, guys. How long have you both been working at the Metcalf Library Branch, Todd? Okay, I started working out here in Metcalf Village June 1st, 2013. So it's almost been eight years for me, but I've been working various libraries uh, throughout the city. I worked at the National Research Council. I worked at Vincent Massey Elementary School. I worked at Rideau High School and Riverside Hospital for a little bit. So, and I can say with much confidence that this is the best place I've ever worked. Awesome, Shannon. Um, so I've been working here for about three and a half years. Um, and I also work at the Greeley, Osgood, and Vernon libraries too. So you might have seen me there. Um, and I've been with the Ottawa Public Library for about six years now in, in various, uh, various branches. What do you like most about being a librarian, Shannon? I have to say that I really love helping people make connections, um, whether it's with our library resources and materials or, you know, with each other in the community. Um, it was always especially wonderful to see, um, you know, children and families coming together for our story time programs or the summer reading club. And you kind of see the kids and families getting excited about reading as they grow and we get to help them discover their interests and explore them and kind of fuel their curiosity with books. Um, and I also really love participating in all the fun community events that happen, like the Metcalf Fair, um, the village Christmas parades every year, going into schools, uh, working with seniors groups. It's all fantastic and it's just so much fun. Todd? Well, I second a lot of what Shannon just uh, said. Um, I like the fact that in the almost eight years I've been out here, I've seen a lot of the kids grow up in the community. So you guys have all shot up six inches or so in height in the last few years. But just to see you move through the grades, uh, I love being around books. I used to write poetry and uh, seeing all the new books come across and being the first one to be able to see them is something I consider an advantage working out here. And uh, just the, the sense of community, just, uh, you know, I think it's a great community and I, I like working in it. And, I don't think I would have been working out here as long as I have if I didn't like it, and uh, it's great. If we want to borrow a book from the library right now, how can we do that, Todd? Okay, well, we're in a lockdown, so this is probably one of the worst situations, except for total lockdown. Um, we reopen on February 11th, and hopefully we get the customers back into browsing. Uh, in the branches themselves, physically. Uh, right now, you can sit down and order from the catalog a variety of books, games, audiobooks, uh, you name it really, and ebooks. And you order them, uh, they come to the Metcalf Village branch, and you pick up your holds at the door. We're only offering curbside service right now, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, you know, maybe two weeks from now, the numbers look good, and uh, we're back in business, and uh, the doors open, and People come flooding in. You can, you know, you can use Cloud Library. You can use Libby, what used to be Overdrive, and you can order your books electronically if you're worried about COVID. Uh, that keeps your hands off them. But uh, we quarantine the books, and uh, we've had no problems yet, no reported cases. So I, th I think it's a safe environment, and people can come and get their books on Saturdays here. And Greeley has more hours for you to pick up your books as well. Okay, are there any digital services or online events that our viewers might be interested in learning more about? Shannon? Yeah, for sure. So um, there's lots of, as Todd mentioned, we have lots of ebooks and digital audiobooks um, on our website through the online resources portal. portal sorry. There's also um, access to streaming music, streaming video, online magazines, language learning, um, lots of free video courses on cool topics. Um, we have resources like a library subscription to Ancestry.com, the genealogy uh, website that people can access from home until the end of March. Um, we've been doing a lot of virtual programming as well um, for all ages. There's lots of uh, online story times for small children and babies. Um, there's some cool virtual programming coming up for school-age kids on Black History Month. Um, there's an Indigenous book 
club for adults, for teens. There's, you know, online programs about uh, comic book writing, uh, poetry writing. There's an online Dungeons and Dragons program. Uh, so there is lots of cool stuff going on on the website if you want to go check it out. Um, there is something for everybody, for sure. And our final question that we ask all of our guests, how would you finish this sentence? My Metcalf is? Todd? Community. People. And Shannon? I would say supportive, for sure. Um, we know that we've had a number of issues with our current building, and it's been frustrating for everyone, but we are so grateful for everyone's support through this long haul, and we are very much looking forward to welcoming, welcoming everybody in our uh, new location in the old town hall in the fall. So thank you so much, Metcalf community, for continuing to support us through everything. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank have you so much. Day. Have a good have, day. Bye. Have a great Bye. day. <laughs>